Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. Your video is about to start shortly. Please take this opportunity to hit the like button down below, leave some comments, tell your friends. Interaction, likes, subscriptions help my channel to grow and help me to keep producing content for yourselves. If you're new to my channel, check out the other videos that I've got. There are over 500 videos at this stage, so there should be something there for everybody. Again, video is about to start. Hit that like button down below. Hi guys. So what I'm going to do tonight is to tie a fishing version of a Lady Carolyn. So it's a little bit of a variant on that. So this is a size 1.5 uh, Daiichi. Salmon iron. And uh, I'm going to take this down and create uh, like a silver, flat silver tag on this fly to begin with. So I'm going to wrap them now. This is a metal, a vintage metal tinsel. So I'm going to wrap that, tie it in, and wrap it backwards. Turn the fly on its side. And then start to come forward. So by having that layer underneath, even if we have a space, we're not going to see it. And the body is going to be dubbed. So we can tie in, we can make it very long and then go back over it. And that will hide any of the tie-offs of it. So take that back there. And for the tail, we're going to use a golden pheasant breast feather, so one of the red feathers. So I'm just going to strip off the fluff. And we can choose either to tie it down or tie it up. And we'll tie it up. So I'll tie across that slightly forward of my intended tie in point. And then I'm just going to slide that forward a little bit, that'll bunch it in nice and neat and then I can wrap back on it and it'll give me a neatly tied in tail. Trim that off. So, uh, what we're going to do is tie in two ribs. So we're going to pass one one way and the other one is going to go in the opposite direction and tie down the heron hackle. So. I'm going to tie these in here and I'm going to match the tinsel up to the return eye just to take any of the step out of it and tie back to our tail. So for the body on this one uh, we're going to use like a golden olive type seals fur mix. Start to spin the bunch, one turn to catch a few fibres, then you can stretch it out and twist it. And when those few fibres are caught at the beginning, then that helps the whole thing to twist up nice and tight and neat. And I'm going to do about half the body. Then we want to look for a hackle. So some sort of grey spay hackle, so you can, if you have heron you can use it, if you have uh, blue-eared pheasant or something along the lines of that you can use it. So I'm just going to take the feather, slide all this stuff forward and tie it in. Fold the stock back, that'll secure it and snap it off. And then we're going to do the rest of the body in the same seal sphere mix as we had before. So same thing, apply it to our thread, start to spin it. One turn to catch a few fibres, spin it to start to tighten and then stretch it out 
and tighten it up. So first thing we're going to wrap is the uh, the embossed flat silver. And the number of turns is up to your own preference. A lot of spay flies have quite a few turns in them, so you probably find that they have three to four turns are exceptions to that but generally slightly less than on our standard bodies tie that in and then I'm going to stroke our fibers of our spay type hackle onto one side and I'm going to wrap this in the middle between the tinsel and then when you get to the front I'm going to put on several turns to create like a collar of it so that just depends on how uh, densely hackled you want your fly stalks at this point tend to be quite thick and difficult to wrap anyway so we'll trim that off and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that's bound down and then I'm going to pull it all forward so it sticks straight out and that's going to help us to wrap our beaded tinsel to catch it down and what you might find is useful here is just something pointy so I'm going to use the scissors and use a double needle or whatever just to separate out any hackle fibers that want to get tied down. Just flip them out from underneath. fiddliest bit of the whole fly. And then I'm going to cross across these wraps of the hackle because they are stiff they're prone to breaking so having the hackle or the uh, tinsel here cross that will help to uh, support that, strengthen that. And then we can just stroke our hackle backwards again. And turn this off. So generally Lady Caroline would have a, a red golden pheasant breast feather now. But what we're going to do here is to use like a, a burnt orangey yellow dyed slapping type hackle. Just going to double that back on itself. Break it off. Tie it in, fold it back on itself, and wrap over it to secure it. And then wrap this on.
wings. I just want to brush this out. I think that sort of hackle colour complements the body. Dubbin colour. It's time now to put on our wing, which is going to be bronze mullard. So, there's a variety of different ways of uh, wing spay fly like this. What I'm going to do here is to take uh, a slip from each side of, oh, sorry, one slip from each of a left and a right sided uh, bronze mallard feather. So I'm just going to take a slab of it. Sort of going to pull it out sideways and help it to marry back to itself a little bit and strip that off. So I want to have realigned the tips, you know what I mean, straighten them up a little bit. What I'm going to do is to put the two directly on top of each other. So they're not matching side by side, they're just on top. I'll then set that up on top. Length is up to yourself. And I'm just going to pinch that around it. So I essentially I have two thicknesses or two layers of it. And that should give us a decent spay type mallard roof. So some people go to a lot of bother to match them up etc. Um, but whenever I was taking some old ones apart I didn't necessarily find that much attention to detail in it and in case some of them what they'd actually done then would it be to splay these apart to figure it out in between them. Um, so I think our modern approach to it, a lot of it is for aesthetics. Um, as I said some of the old wings that I've seen were fairly ugly, but I'm sure there was thought went into the uh, the way those were tied on to create action in the water. So. Shape the head. Finish it. The head. And that is the tying complete. So sort of a modern variant of a Lady Caroline with an orange throat or a dirty orange throat. So hopefully you like the video, hopefully you like what you see. If you did, give us a like, subscribe, tell your friends, check out all the other videos on the channel. Until next time, tight lines. And thanks for watching.